Hi, first off, I reached 100,000 subscribers. Wow, that is incredible. Thank you so much to everyone who watched or subscribed or supported me in any way. Uh, life has been a little hectic recently, but I wanted to celebrate with a fun little video about Minecraft, the project that lets AI chatbots play Minecraft. I've made a little update that lets different AIs other than ChatGPT control agents, and I want to compare their creative building skills. So we have three agents, each powered by a different large language model. We have Google's Gemini, Claude 3 from Anthropic, and an upgraded GPT-4 Turbo. Uh, these should all do a lot better than GPT-3. Now they can't chat with each other, that's not the point of this video, and I can't chat with all of them all at once, but I can talk to each of them individually. So I'm just going to give them a bunch of resources and... Oh, oh, okay, guys, you need to share. Come over here, let's give each other some space. Okay, so I'm just going to give them a bunch of resources like cobblestone and planks and stuff, and then ask each one using the same prompt to first check their inventory and then use what they have to build various things. In this case, a house with a door. GPT's up first, let's see how it does. Right off the bat, it gets the sequence of responses correct. It checks its inventory and then calls new action to perform some custom behavior. This allows the language model to write a piece of JavaScript code that controls the bot. Here it uses the place block function to build a structure. This is immediately much more reliable than GPT-3. And it forgot the ceiling, but it got the door. Usually GPT-4 does better. This is not a very fair demonstration, but it's what it happened to do. Okay, now for Claude. This is Claude Opus, which is basically the state of the art for language models right now. It is big and smart and slow. Well, that's basically just a box. It didn't add a door. And it doesn't seem like it's done building. It seemed to have recognized that something went wrong and then tries to build again and ends up building a second house that overlaps with the first one. Honestly, this second house is pretty good. It's got windows, but still no door. Okay, now for Gemini. So it got confused. It did not call new action, and I have to tell it to do so. And then it calls the wrong command. It calls place here, which just places one block in the current location you can't build houses with it. That's a common confusion, and Gemini failed. Next challenge. This time we'll do some pyramid building. I've cleared their inventories and given them some sandstone, and then asked them to build a pyramid. And I'm asking all of them at the same time to do it, so we can watch all of them all at once. Alright, that's pretty good. Now we know how they built the real pyramids. They used ChatGPT. 
Claude built a slightly bigger pyramid with uh, alternating layers. Pretty cool. And GPT made the capstone a chiseled sandstone block. Neat. I think they both did pretty good. And Gemini completely failed again. Made the same mistake. Okay, now I've given them a bunch of logs and leaves and flowers and asked them to make a garden. This is the Emergent Garden channel, after all. got some funny looking trees, but it's a pretty little garden. I think Claude ran into some issues with its first attempt and is trying again. Yeah, that's pretty good, but I definitely prefer GPT's garden. And now for Gemini, I'm going to call new action myself and force it to write code to build the garden. And off he goes. Where are you going? Okay, yeah, good job. That's a really nice garden, buddy. Why don't you come hang out in here for a while and let the big boys play for now, okay? We'll be back. For the final challenge, I will be giving them all of this stuff and then ask them to build a creative and interesting structure. I've left it very open-ended to test their creativity. By the way, you will notice that a lot of the cobblestone or dirt that they place isn't actually part of the final structure. They are scaffolding blocks that they use to get up to places that are out of reach. Right now I don't have a great way of removing those scaffolding blocks, so they're just part of the structure. So ultimately Claude ended up running out of resources and then tried to fix the problem by building another tower which was like inside of the first tower. So it ends up being this really messy weird tower, but I'd say it's more interesting than GPT's creation which is basically just a box with alternating patterns on the walls. So I'd give this one to Claude. Let's check in here. How you doing Gemini? Could you give me some... <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I guess Gemini's pretty busy right now, guys. We're gonna have to come back later. <laughs> Stupid. So, ultimately, I would say that GPT-4 and Claude 3 Opus are pretty neck and neck. They're just about the same. Sometimes Claude is better, sometimes GPT-4 is better. But, I mean, this is not a very rigorous scientific comparison, so take it for what it's worth. Gemini comes in dead last, and this isn't super fair to Gemini, because this is their worst model, basically. I, I don't know how to get my hands on Gemini 1.5, but even so, the cheapest Claude model is light years better than Gemini 1.0. So yeah, not very impressed with Gemini. Okay, finally, I want to show off the coolest thing I have ever gotten any of these agents to make. I wanted to make a skyscraper. Claude was struggling with it, but after a few tries, I was able to get GPT-4 to come up with something really impressive. I did have to kind of cheat and constantly supply it with resources as it ran out, but every single block was placed by AI. 
I'll let the results speak for themselves. <laughs>